First of all, thank you very much, Valeri. And the uh, first question uh, is about the newest thing. Uh, what is the newest thing in integrated system Europe at Epson? So there are a lot of solutions mm -hmm. around the few innovations that we brought uh, into the market mm -hmm. in the last years and last year. Mm -hmm. And especially around the smart glasses. We have developed AR smart glasses for a few years now, mm -hmm. but now we have solutions available for glasses uh, to be actually used every day. And it's interesting because they are commercial solutions. And at ISE we are really featuring things around visitors' experience. So it can be uh, some sightseeing or museum visit content through partners, or it can be as well some augmented reality, actual demonstration to show what you can start doing to enhance the visitor's experience. And most importantly, we have the National Theatre yeah. from London, uh, and they came all the way to ISC to demonstrate their unique subtitling solution which is very innovative and now being used since October every day to provide the low hearing people a very nice and nice solution to go to the theatre again. And uh, could you give me a little bit about uh, uh, LightSyn product? So LightSyn is an interesting product concept yeah. because it's very different from uh, the product we might have developed in terms of projection in the past. Mm -hmm. And the most important is we created a product that has a form factor mm -hmm. which is dramatically different so it looks like a spotlight and by looking like a spotlight you can just make it fit in many environments where finally in the past projectors were not considered because too boxy or too big or so this is very interesting to open new doors, uh, especially in the retail space. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are really working now with a projector content provider and uh, so that they are bringing experience. Not only you have a nice product that looks like a spotlight, easy to use, easy to fix as well to a lighting track, so that it's e easy to install in existing environments without disturbing too much the setup. And on top of that, it gives a new experience in store. It's very important that we are providing through the projection something meaningful for digital signage and announcing a product, announcing uh, an advertisement in a kind of more interesting way where the product will be pushed forward, projecting on site, mapping, or as well eventually by using a couple of additional sensors interacting with the product in store. So this is really a whole kind of new market for us where we had a fantastic initial feedback because again the form factor is very nice. It's uh, it's in black, it's in white, so you can as well choose different kind of retail space where you can set it in. And of course we have a lot of flexibility because you can use a micro SD card, you can change the projection form. It doesn't have to be rectangle anymore, it can be round, it can be blurry in a very easy way just by the touch of the remote control because we care as well that the people in store they might not be technicians and you have to make things very easy for them to change the content, to change the layout or to position the image in another way. And the last question is about the feature. What's your expectation about the feature, uh, especially smart glasses? So the smart eyewear, they are really developing. And they are developing in a way that we have now applications that we know are meaningful for the user. And that's all the challenge. The master smart glasses, especially the one we developed, they are based on Android. You yep. would say, why not using your smartphone, your tablet? It's an Android product. So the important thing about the glasses is that it gives your hands totally free. So you can wear the glasses, use a camera, investigate the world around you, and then do a lot of different things naturally. It can be triggered without the intervention of the person. And that works today for the technician in the film, in the industrial sector, to do remote assistance, or to do training, or to do work visual assistance. Actually, you can become a kind of a human machine by being given all the information in front of your eyes and executing as you do. And there is a whole world as well, as I mentioned, in the visitor experience. We have 12 projects running now in Italy where you can rent our glasses at Pisa Tower, at Monza, in Brescia Museum, in Villa Real. 
and uh, this company Art Glass is really bringing the museum industry in Italy live with the smart glasses and eventually as well we have a big drone market and it's interesting because with the drone it's exactly like understanding why you would use a smart glass thanks to the drone uh, and the use of the smart glass with the drone you can see the drone and the video feed from the onboard camera at the same time and you never lose sight of your drone and there is only smart glasses and see-through smart glasses that can actually do that so when you question why using smart glasses it's just that there are now unique usages being actually uh, used and put in place that make a real difference compared to any other device and that's exactly the direction we are aiming at thank you very much you're welcome thank you First of all, thank you very much, uh, Jonathan. And uh, now uh, you are uh, uh, using Moverio in the National Theatre. Why Moverio? Uh, well, we chose Moverio um, having gone through a number of other products, looked at a number of other augmented reality products, and it was just the one that fitted the criteria that we'd really established. It was light, and it was really, really bright and clear for our audiences who need a really, really clear version of the subtitle so we can display it live in the in the theater. Um, and it's got a good battery life as well. It's got a really, really good battery life, which is perfect for um, our shows that normally come in about three, three and a half hours. So, and the battery life on the move areas runs to about four, four and a half hours. So it's been ideal. Uh, could you give me some uh, uh, feedback for visitors and uh, example, something like that? Oh, the feedback. So um, we've been uh, ask me the question again. One second. Um, so we've been using the smart caption glasses at the National Theatre since November last year. Mm -hmm. um, it's, we, we really didn't know who would come along and use the service. Um, it's a closed caption service, so it's really discreet. So anyone can come into the theatre anytime, bring their friends and family, sit anywhere. We've had about 150 people come to 45 performances, so average of just over three people per performance. Um, and, and it's University, the feedback has been absolutely outstanding. Everyone's thought it's brilliant. For some people, some of the stories are people who haven't come to the theatre for years, who've, who've gone deaf um, and they haven't had the opportunity to come to the theatre, are coming back to the theatre and it's really changing their lives. And the last question, what have changed the National Theatre? Uh, well, what, what's changed is the National Theatre is, is offering more accessibility to a much broader group of uh, people who are deaf and hard of hearing. So it's, it's really changing their lives and bringing them back to the theatre mm -hmm. and making sure that, that in the National Theatre we make theatre for everyone uh, and it's available all of the time. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Nice to meet you, Ali.